guys see my ponytail look at my ponytail guys my ponytail my my locks is growing okay look at my ponytail who child like you flash it well hello lovely people and welcome back to another video i know it's been a minute but we're gonna get straight into the video <laughs> It's gonna be sweet and spicy, okay? All right. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about how long should you wait to wash your locks? Um, I think this question has been around for a very long time. A lot of people are asking, especially people who are just starting their lock journey. Um, and the reason why is because when you start your lock journey, um, if you are you know, doing this whole transition by yourself, um, the first thing is do your research, okay? Try to pull up some things on YouTube or Google and see what people are saying first. Um, as well as, I'm gonna recommend it, try to get a loctician advice. You don't have to necessarily go to a loctician to get your lock started if you don't want to, but it's good to get some people advice that's been in the business for a long time. Some of you have some really good locticians out here and they will tell you the truth, okay? They're not gonna lie, they'll give you good information number one is if you start your locks with comb coils then you will notice your hair is going to unravel when you wash it okay reason being is comb coils your hair is not necessarily intact because all you're doing is using the comb and twirling around in your lot in your hair like this so when you do go ahead and you wash it it is easily to unravel so the recommendation that i see a lot of people say is about three months you heard me three months <laughs> that seems so long guys like three months seems so long to wash your locks it depends on what you're doing if you are going to the gym you live a busy lifestyle you're gonna get some sweats especially if it's summer it's hot three months is long all right so let me go back a little bit okay so the recommended time frame the wait is about again about three months when you just start your lock journey and if you start with comb calls the reason why i'm going to start there is because again comb, comb calls unravel very easily so that's the reason why that is recommended okay if you start with two strand twists or plaits you will notice that the end part of your locks like down here may unravel first down here because that happened to me when I started my lock journey, I started with two strand twists. In about four months, I had to plait the end part of my lock. So you can't see it now. It doesn't even make a difference. You can't really see it. But I had to do that because my hair was unraveling a lot and I didn't feel like keep retwisting it. And I was not going to a loctician every two weeks to get my hair done either because that was very expensive. So I just took it up on myself after doing my research. I would just plait the end part of my locks and that worked. After I did that, my hair did not unravel anymore. I could wash it as often as I want and I was good. Now, a lot of times, loctician is gonna tell you to wait two to three weeks. That's the one I'm gonna go with. Two to three weeks, I would highly recommend that is the time frame to go with to wash your hair. The reason being is because we're talking about two to three weeks of what you put in your hair. That is another important thing. What did you put in your hair the two to three weeks? Did you put oils? You put a lot of sprays, mousse, you know what I mean? What you're doing is looking at your life, what you did within that two to three weeks. If you didn't do too much to your hair and you just start your lock journey and you're not trying to get your hair unraveled too quickly, I say go longer, right? The most important thing here is to make sure your hair is clean. So I say two to three weeks, that's me. Me, how long I go, I go at least three weeks max. Depending on if I just got a retwist done, um, again, depending on if I cover my hair every night, if I'm not putting a lot of oils in my hair, a lot of buildup is not showing in my hair, things like that is what I consider before washing my locks. But the max I'll go is three weeks. And to be honest, I think that's a good that's a good time frame, okay? Three months is long. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just feel like three months is too long. If you can do it, you could do it, okay? If you could do it, do it. It's okay. Um, just don't walk around with no dirty hair now. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so number two is the teenage stage. Now, the teenage stage is when you come out of that baby stage, right? And you get to a stage where, okay, this may be about eight months in, could be a year in or more than that. You start to get more lent to your hair. You start to get to know your hair, right? You know what type of hair you have. You see your locks kind of coming in, things like that. Um, I would say, again, the recommended time that I would recommend for that is still gonna be the three weeks. 
I start to get budding in my locks very quickly because I have 4C here. So my hair locked really fast, actually. But you have people with more softer texture locks, it's not gonna lock really fast. Some people struggle with that. They, especially people who start with comb curls, they go along, they go, they a year later and they're still trying to figure out why their hair is not showing, like it's not locking, you know what I mean? So for the teenage stage, I would say still go, the recommended time for me is still three weeks. However, if you wanna go longer, you can. Um, and also too, as I said before, it's important. If you're going to a loctician and you can afford it, um, they'll let you know as well when to come back for your next appointment. They'll say, okay, wait four weeks to come to your next appointment. And it's up to you what we, what you like to do at that point, okay? Okay, guys, so next is the more mature stage, okay? When you get to the mature, mature stage like me, you kind of get, you, you get used to your locks, okay? You know what your hair is, you know what your locks is, you understand your locks, okay? You can go as long as you want to. Listen, again, it's all about you and what you're doing to your locks, okay? Um, to avoid buildup, and to avoid all this stuff that is gonna be in your locks because it probably will. I know some people say that don't struggle with buildup and all this other stuff. Well, some of us do like myself. You still want to wash your hair often. Um, right now I go again at least three weeks. So my overall recommended time frame to go is two to three weeks. That's it for all of the lock stages. The reason why I specifically talk about the Starter locks is because I know it's a struggle for some people when they just start to wash your hair really often because it will unravel. But once you get to the mature stage like this, your hair is already locked. So it's not going to unravel. So you don't have to worry about that. So if you want to go in the shower today and wash your hair and go two days in and wash your hair again, it's up to you, kings and queens, to wash your hair when you want to because your hair is not mature. You ain't got to worry about it unraveling, okay? Wash it as often as you like. Because let me tell you, baby, clean locks it's the most beautiful locks i'm telling you when your hair is clean and smell good it's the most beautiful thing on planet earth <laughs> okay this is all about you and what you would want to do okay that is the most important piece here like i could speak for my hair type i struggle and i still do and i have to make sure that i wash my hair often and ever since i started to wash my hair really often I don't really have a lot of product buildup, okay? I, my, as you can see, my hair is looking good. I don't have any issues with my locks. Okay guys, so the most important thing that you should take away from this video is, do you rather a clean, healthy, beautiful locks? Or do you rather to have your hair lock faster? And I'm sure majority of everybody, I hope you're going with clean, healthy locks. So I'm saying this to say at the end of the day, despite of what your loctician tell you, us and YouTube tell you, the most important thing is clean locks, healthy, okay? Not full of buildup and looking weird and looking like something is wrong with you or wrong with your hair. No, we don't want that. And when you go through that phase, right? As you can see with the amount of videos out there right now with people going to these loctician, they're posting this. <laughs> And they're showing these people here looking a mess. You don't want to hear, avoid that. Okay, avoid that. So at the end of the day, it's all about you and when you want to wash your locks because it's a lot of stuff out there right now about us, people, us with locks not washing our hair. And it's not true. A lot of us do wash our locks and keep it clean. Same. So I wanted to do this video solely on wash because I know a lot of people have questions about it. I hope this did help somebody out there. So if you're watching and you're just starting your lock journey, I hope this is helping you, okay? If you have any questions as usual, please put it down below, all right? Believe it or not, it's a little cold in Florida, I'm surprisingly, <laughs> I'm very shocked about that. But yeah, it's a little cold here, so I have to put my sweaters on. And as you know, some of these sweaters that we wear, they have a lot of stuff on them. So when you wear a lot of sweaters and coats and jackets, you want to make sure your hair is up into a bun or into a ponytail because I'm telling you now, I know for my locks, it loves hanging on to stuff. Love it, love it, love it. The other day I bought a brand new jacket. It was a fur jacket and I totally forget to put my hair up. But I remember within the first hour. And, I, and, I, and as soon as I look at my hair, I could see all of the, the thing, the fur off of the jacket on my locks, okay? Now just imagine if I go at eight hours, I would struggle. 
So before I close, I do want to say thank you so much for 500 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. My goal is to get to 1,000, of course, um, next year. Hopefully the middle of next year, I would say. I really appreciate that you guys take the time to subscribe to my channel. It must be something that you like or want more of. So if you want to comment down below the next video you want to see me do, that would be great. I want to take the time to thank all of you who take the time to comment. I see all of your comment coming in. I appreciate it. I'm taking my time to go in and reply to the comments. I appreciate each and every single one of you who come back and watch my videos fully and comment. You just don't want to someone that does. It really, it really pumped me up and it gives me motivation.